Hey guys, I'm out in the garden today and I am so frustrated with that. Can you see the cracks? Okay. I have gotten the gopher hawk, which is the stick thing. You stick down and trigger it and you're supposed to run through it, trigger the little sensor, and then it slams shut and squishes them. Um, that's not worked yet, so this is the new process right here. I took a flower pot, just a flimsy little flower pot right here, and then I took some literal duct tape, like HVAC tape, um, sealed a garden hose in there, and then I have sealed it around my exhaust pipe. So next, it's going, the hose is going in the hole, and I've got to go get the um, pitchfork. That way, if he comes up, I'm stabbing, but I've kind of got a fairly big yard here, and there are tunnels all around the backyard, the front yard. Um, so anyway, we're gonna see how this works. Stand by. Okay, that was an epic fail. Uh, carbon monoxide poisoning did not work. And so now, I tried some new ways with the gopher hawk and I bought a couple of new traps. So let's move on to that. Okay guys, so I was just prepping um, more garden beds or more yard uh, from my mulch right there uh, and I was just working along and I just happened to look and it's finally turned yellow let's go see what it is well where is it I can never do with this thing backwards okay there it is it popped yellow so I hope to God I have a mold. And we'll see. All right, I'm gonna turn the string around. <clears throat> Look a there. That's what he gets. I guess his head is up in there. Cause that's his butt. Ah, what a relief. It, this gopher hawk didn't, this thing here, it did not work, it, I didn't think. So what I did was I dug down with a shovel and I made sure the metal prongs, here, um, let me <laughs> throw this thing out and, uh, and then I'll come back and show you the ends of the gopher hawk. Okay, change of plans, I decided to add him back to the dirt that he was living in. He can give back to what he took from. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to drop this thing and not have to touch it. Oh, let's get him in there. And there he is. <sighs> what a relief. I have no idea how many I have, but I guess we'll see. So, victory! Finally! I am a happy girl, finally knowing that something's going to kill one. Now I've got another um, set of traps that are a different style, and I'll check those next. Stand by. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the other traps as I check them. All right, that's the poker I use to prod for holes um, around mounds to find the best place to dig. And I've got it staked there to inside these loops I've tied with the string that goes to the traps in case um, the gopher wiggles and tries to run off or doesn't. I say gopher, I mean mole. Because um, I think they're moles, not voles. <clears throat> so anyway, I'll unstake that. They weren't pulled taut or anything, so I don't detect that there will be any wiggling. But let's see if we've got anything. And I did the same thing with this. I dug pretty deep down. And um, then when I found the holes, I opened them up in size because they were too small for the traps. Um, 
but I think I would just bump one. But let's see what we got. I want to dig them, dig up a little bit. And yes, there's an onion. I just left it there. These have been such a nuisance. Okay, it's still down a little bit. Let me come in and see. I don't want to put too much pressure on the trap. But I also don't want to completely... Nope. Alright, so that was empty. <clears throat> and the way this one works um, is you set this... Well, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but this winds up holding up here. And here, I'm going to put the phone down and see if I can make this work. Okay. <clears throat> you have to see if it's real close. Press down on this while lifting this and sliding it under that bar. So it kind of takes two hands. So hang on. I was maybe I'll prop it up on my side. Okay, maybe that'll work. So you go down and opens that up. You gotta switch over. Put this under that bar, and it opens up these claws here. And then you lift this up. I hope y'all can see this. I really have no idea what's going on on the phone. Um, pin both of those down and lift this up over it. And they <coughs> run through, or the principle is, that they will dig hole. You know, they're digging, and they come through the hooks. And then they come here and keep pushing to dig. And when that pushes back, it sets the trap and it scissors them. So, <clears throat> one more trap to check. Okay, that one's looking pretty good. Let me move that too. Some of that dirt. And I also push some dirt in on the other side of the traps. So, they weren't so visible maybe. Or at least that was the principle for me trying Nope, <clears throat> and it wasn't triggered. So you can see the hole there. And the other one burrows right. Where is it at? Right all the way back. I don't know if you can get it. It goes all the way back that way. And then that one goes that way. So I'll reset these just in case I have another um, more moles because everybody says that when you have one, if you don't get it fast, um, I'll tell the others and they'll all come. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. But for now, success, I got them all. Ciao, y'all.